Oh. Uh. Click to interact. Good. Arms. And body piece. Next, fun. First, their head and tie, arms, and body piece. Now, you will begin to replace parts of the animatronics, starting once again with Frederick. First, remove and replace Fredbear's mint upper and his skeleton with the structurally improved set that was provided by the manufacturers. Set the Freddy Fazbear body piece where the Fredbear body piece once was. What? Press Freddy's arms on the respective sides. Press Freddy's head over the new end of skeleton. What? And finally, correctly place his hat and bow tie. That's real great. Now, you will be replacing parts of Tawny. First, so they you reused them? Tawny's mint to upper end of skeleton with the structurally improved set that was provided by the manufacturer. Set the Bonnie piece where the original Bonnie piece once was. Place Bonnie's arms on the respective sides. Place Bonnie's head over the new endoskeleton head. Okay then, now all that's left to do is to place the characters in their proper locations. Building updates and stage props will be covered in a future tape. Place Chica in Freddy's room. Remember, Fazbear Entertainment may request a certain arrangement if necessary. Installing Pirate's Cove will be covered in another tape. Congratulations, phase one of the rebranding process is now complete. What? Whoa, that was weird. Anyways, yo, what's up, guys? Axelite Fox Ninja here, and we're back in the video, and welcome to Fred Bear and Friends Left to Rot. I know, I, was, I said I was gonna do uh, Final Nights too, but it just wasn't working. I couldn't get it to launch. That's probably because it was a .rar file, and I hate those. They just, you can't, just can't get them to install or something. However, let's go with ooh, tips. We'll get to those probably later. Yes. Alright. And I just wanted to try this out. I had it installed already on Game Jolt Client, so we're just going to go there. It's cool. Right. While you're on your way, I'll go over the planes beginning again. Alright. Just so that we can do this quickly. Once you get there, go straight to the security rooms you were assigned to do by the company. After watching over the cameras for a little bit, Start shutting off the cameras and audio system, as displayed on the camera system itself. The animatronics in there act as security, so if any wander into your office, hide underneath the desk, since they shouldn't be able to detect you at that point. However, there is a prototype into a skeleton character somewhere in the facility, so make sure that you look out for it. It should be light sensitive, so make sure that you can direct a light at it upon seeing it. Huh. Alright, I'll go over the rest of the planes again once you go far enough. Let's do this. Alright, so recap. Hide under the desk if, an, if, am, if a suit animatron comes in, if an endoskeleton comes in, then just flash my light at it. Got it. Observatory. Dang, it has its own little thing right here. Jeez. Probably also have to post this, like, immediately. Like, I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to edit anything out, because, uh, Tomorrow I'll have to head up because I have to attend another funeral. But this one's a little more serious. But like I know before, like there was a uh, one with my grandfather, and then one of my great grandpas. I mean, gr yeah, the one before was my great grandpa, and then the one I didn't discuss was before was my great grandma. This one's my my great uncle. Ooh. Okay, there's Freddy. See a character coming down this hallway? Make sure you flash the camera's light on it. So, okay, I do that to hide. Save the camera audio system to complete the room. What? I don't get it. I don't want to hide tips yet. Whoa. Whoa. 
Okay, he's gone. So, like, let's continue the audio. Disconnect it to, to complete the room. I'll get why I need to do that, though. Let's see. So, it's like my task, I suppose. Like how sister location works. First of all, disconnect audio just in case someone appears there. Is that Freddy? Whoa! Freddy, stop. I think that's Spring Bonnie. I don't know, did I, like... This... <laughs> what?! He came out of nowhere! Oh, I should've. Whatever, let's just continue it. Great, now it says to load again. Yeah, my editing thing's been all weird, like, it cuts the sides off, so then you can't see even, like, part of the screen, which, I'm like, editor, are you serious with me? I mean, are you serious right now? Yeah. Is it here? I hate the fact that it just does this constantly. So, yeah, just take this off. Yeah, he moves fast. Oh, I hope the whole game isn't like this for the most of it. I'm guessing the endoskeletons get like go down the halls really fast. I'll keep the the main one open though. Sorry that I keep getting interrupted this way. Okay, so when I hear footsteps, then I'm good. I gotta check the hallway like every so often then. It's annoying. Probably I'm not gonna be able to edit this out on this map prom. But where's the endoskeleton come from? I need to know that. I thought this would be easy peasy, but apparently not. I guess I can hide all hints then. In that case. Oh, that makes things harder. I mean, manageable, but harder. Alright. Let's just start with this one. I need to get in the habit of kept looking at that hall. Yeah, I'm guessing the endoskeleton is Foxy's because, I mean, he has, does have a habit for spraying down long hallways. Oh. 
and Bonnie comes immediately after. Okay. I don't trust this camera. See, I don't want to get jump scared by him again, because... case. I swear, if I see someone sprint down here, I'm gonna be so mad. complete so I'm supposed to like oh I'm probably like probably like trying to disable cameras because I'm like a sneak well would I be a thief because I don't know I'm just... hello there welcome to the interactive <laughs> control tape for Fazbear Entertainment and Metropolis oh I'm Freddy Fazbear hi the lead singer in the group you have to make sure that I'm heard around the establishment and I don't mess up my performance during the show it works just as if I'm a puppet, except that I don't have an arm coming out. Instead, I need to look as alive as ever, so you need to make sure I don't go dying on you. Now, let's look at my control rig. On the control rig, you'll find three main function sets. There's for movement in between shoulders. On the right side of the controller, you will see a control set for my head. Go ahead, try opening my jaw. Great, now, on the left side of my controller, you will find a controller for my main body piece. Go ahead, try moving my body forward. What? What left side? Excellent. On the middle of the controller, you will find oh, a nice. preset nice. actions for me. Go ahead, make me laugh. Terrific. Control training is now complete. Look out, laugh. Ready to make the pizzeria come to life. Yeah, that's what every pizzeria needs, you know? Good job. The first set of security animatronics should have been deactivated. Now, head to the storage room, which is behind the first door you see in the dark hallway. So it is gonna get a little repetitive. There's some items that we have seen within that facility from the pictures taken. Okay, so he still talks. Still be there. Collect them and try to go through the door on the right side of the storage room. Once you've gotten through, I'll contact you again. Good luck. Okay, so I literally got it just as he started. As he stopped talking, which is good. Oh, boy. <gasps> yay! I actually have. Oh boy, how do? Oh, that's how I use light. Max curtains. Why do I hear like a zombie? Um, hello, sir. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, that, it was a pretty subtle jump scare, but it was still kind of weird. It was just like... <sighs> like, it wasn't even too loud. I should have my volume done. Okay, so I just gotta look out for him. And then, so this one's pretty easy since it doesn't have to deal with cams, which cams can be pretty annoying. So what's my door charge? Ah. Oh. Oh, I think his name's Max. That's probably why it says that. Oh, yeah. That has Max on the curtain, so that makes sense.
Doesn't seem to do. <laughs> you just seem to peek out the curtains. Got him again. Okay. How do I... Oh, do I have to charge the door open? I thought I had to use it. Oh, so this is kind of dumb. How do I get any charge on this? There's like... You can't get a single charge on this thing. I missed the button. I thought this wouldn't be hard. the dumbest thing. Who invented this? This is deep. This is like demon work. So I do gotta check it more often. <sighs> this is so dumb. Like, is there even to a, a point to this? Whatever, I think I'm just gonna keep the episode short here and I'll end it here, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it